If you love me, you don't have to hate her. And if you love her, you don't need to hate me. Rumors about Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton's royal rift have been brewing for quite some time now. Early signals that the royal wives were hitting it off saw the pair attend the Wimbledon Women's Singles Finals together in 2018. Not to mention the fact that they made up half of the Fab Four. But a growing rift between the two soon began to plague the royal family, with inside sources claiming that things between the then soon to be sisters might not be as friendly as first thought. I always hoped that the four of us would get on, but very quickly it became Meghan versus Kate. Though they often put on a united front with their royal spouses, it didn't take long for whispers of competition between the two women to spread. But are the wives really at war? Twenty seventeen was a seemingly happy time for the then sisters to be. Their first meeting went off without a hitch, and Kate was said to be thrilled after Meghan and Harry announced their engagement a few months later. William and I are absolutely thrilled. It's such exciting news. Um, it's a really happy time for any couple, and we wish them all the best and hope they enjoy this happy moment. By February 2018, the Fab Four shared the spotlight during their first joint royal engagement together. Megan, you are new to the foundation, but you have lots of experience working with charities, especially grassroots organisations. It would be interesting to find out, first of all, your impressions of the Royal Foundation so far and what you're hoping to do. <laughs> Don't be too critical. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> and Markle and Prince Harry tied the knot as media outlets around the world compared the events to Middleton and William's 2011 wedding. But near the end of the year, seemingly cracks were beginning to show. Meghan and Harry decide to leave Kensington Palace and move to Frogmore Cottage. And sources say that the drama between the Sussexes and the Cambridges had everything to do with it. Just a few days later, news broke that Kate was left in tears following a bridesmaid's dress fitting for Princess Charlotte, and their relationship said to be at breaking point. Meghan would later address these rumours in a tell-all interview with Oprah. Were you silent or were you silenced? but we'll get to that a little later. In the summer of 2019, Meghan and Kate attended Wimbledon together for the first time since reports of a feud. But that same year, Meghan reportedly had Miss Kate off of the invites for her birthday party. Then came that interview with ITV's Tom Brady, where Meghan claimed that she'd been through it. Thank you for asking, because not many people have asked if I'm okay, but it's... Uh... It's a very real thing to be going through behind the scenes. And the answer is, would it be fair to say not really? Okay, as in it's really been a struggle. Yes. After this aired, Kate had reportedly reached out to Meghan to offer some sisterly support. A new book by Tom Quinn saw another shock revelation. The author claimed that Meghan rowed with a member of Kate's staff, leaving the Princess of Wales horrified. Insiders also alleged that Meghan struggled with having a lesser rank and not being treated with the same respect that she feels Kate is. We skip ahead now to March of 2021 and the groundbreaking interview with Oprah. The biggest bombshell to drop was that Kate actually made Meghan cry and it wasn't the other way around. What was hard to get over was being blamed for something that not only I didn't do, but that happened to me and, and the people who were part of our wedding going to our comms team and saying, I know this didn't happen. Megan preached that her sister-in-law was a good person and talked about how difficult it is to constantly be pitted against her in the media. I would hope that she would have wanted that corrected and maybe in the same way that the palace wouldn't let anybody else yeah. negate it, they wouldn't let her because she's a good person. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in British history. Following the tragic death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, the Fab Four were united in grief, seen all together in public for the first time in years. However, at the funeral, the body language between Meghan and Kate appeared somewhat stale. Body language experts suggested that the Duchess of Sussex seemed to physically space herself away from Kate and Wills. 
Most recently, Prince Harry revealed that the tensions behind the scenes at Kensington Palace had, in fact, been high from the offset. I thought that the, you know, the four of us would you know, bring me and William closer together. We could go out and do work together before it was Meghan, whoever it was going to be. And his memoir, Spare, brought out several revelations, including one pretty awkward story of when Kate had allegedly grimaced after Meghan asked to borrow her lip gloss. Cringe. So we've seen the royal sisters-in-law, once a powerful duo, and now supposedly as clashing wives. Will there ever be a way back for these two? Perhaps the tone of their relationship has already been set. <laughs>